So the Oklahoma Sooners have added to their coaching staff by bringing on a former player and a former head coach. You got former North Texas Mean Green coach Seth Luttrell joining the Sooners staff as an offensive analyst. So let's talk about him, his accolades, and why I think this is pretty significant. Coming up here in about 10 seconds. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Jay here with Unfair Sports, where we take a pensive approach to the sports conversation. Thanks for pulling up here to the YouTube channel. And in this video, we're going to talk about Seth Luttrell joining the Oklahoma Sooners staff, as recently reported a couple hours ago, as an offensive analyst. And so let's dive right into that. So Coach Luttrell was the former head coach over at the North Texas Mean Green, and he was relieved of his duties back in December we're going to talk about his coaching career as well as his alliance to Oklahoma. That way you have an understanding of why I feel like this is very significant. So make sure you tune in to the end of this. But before we do that, you all know the drill. Hop in the comments. Let me know how you feel about Coach Latrell joining the staff here at Oklahoma. If you are new to the channel, hit that like, subscribe, and the bell notification. We'd love for you to join the family. We talk a lot of OU football, Colorado football as well, and college football in general and you know we always have ourselves a great time and so as we dive into this coach Latrell adds to the already robust Oklahoma coaching staff on the offensive side and so let's talk about coach Latrell now if you don't know him as I mentioned before former head coach at North Texas was just recently relieved of his duties he is a Muskogee Oklahoma native played here at Oklahoma from 97 till 2000. He was part of that national championship team. He was also one of the co-captains of that squad. So he was able to come be here during the Bob Stoops era. And after that, he spent his entire career with someone from that staff up until his uh, last two coaching jobs. And so he went from, Oklahoma as a player, he was a grad assistant over at Kansas under Mike Mangino as they were beginning to build something new in Kansas. Remember that Kansas team was was pretty good under Mangino. He transitioned from there from a grad assistant over into Texas Tech and he was running back coach for Mike Leach, another uh, Stoops um, descendant. And from the Stoops coaching tree, he was there with them for about three years, moved on to Arizona to coach running backs as well as become a co-offensive coordinator for Mike Stoops, who was there for about three years. Transitioned from there to Indiana, where he was underneath Kevin Wilson for a couple of years. And then he went over and was working underneath uh, Larry Fedora at North Carolina for a couple of years. Helped that North Carolina team go to the ACC championship game where they lost to Clemson, who became an eventual uh, national champion in 2015. And then he took the North Texas head coaching job. So while at North Texas, he was 44 and 44. He had two nine win seasons and went to five bowl games, which is pretty huge for um, North Texas itself. I mean, this past season, they lost to uh, uh, University of Texas San Antonio in the uh, Conference USA Championship game. And that kind of what got him uh, let go of his job or relieved of his duties. And so now he became available and he's going to become an analyst. And so coaching wise, as you have mentioned before, he spent a lot of time under the old regimes and old trees of coach Bob Stoops. And so he's had a lot of great minds to be around. Like I said, from Mike Leach to, you know, Kevin Wilson, he was a uh, co-offensive coordinator with uh, coach Beatonbow here at Oklahoma when it was at Arizona. And so he's got a lot of ties to Oklahoma. His offenses have always ranked, In the top 50 in the country, he had North Carolina as a very proficient offense. He coached Rob Gronkowski and Nick Foles and helped them get drafted when he was at Arizona. And so coaching-wise, he has helped groom some really good players and uh, leading them to the NFL. But the biggest thing is is his mind. So the thing that makes it significant to me is, is that we already know that Coach Jeff, Jeff Levy is ending up in a lot of conversations about potential head coaching jobs in the future. And if this year pops off for Oklahoma, there's a really good chance that Coach Levy gets an opportunity at the Power Five level to be a head coach. And if he gets that opportunity, it's going to be tough for him to pass on a chance to be able to run his own program. And if that's the case, I think Coach Latrell coming in and immediately walking to the offensive coordinator spot would be a huge great 
great move for the Sooners and adding um, a coach that has experience at Oklahoma from Oklahoma and knows how to coach and uh, do that similar scheme as he's an air raid guy. So I think that this is a huge move and a smart move because not only gives you that additional mind to work with Jeff Lebby and staff on just offensive scheming, working with Dylan Gabriel, but prepares for these next set of quarterbacks that's coming down the line. And if Coach Levy does get get another job, you have an, a good coach that's established and has put up some great numbers as a passing offense and as a total offense in general in the years he's been in college football. So that's my thoughts on Coach Seth Luttrell taking this job. I think it's huge. I think it's a big move. Uh, bringing in additional head coaches, former head coaches to your staff is always a big plus because they can bring that experience and uh, even mentorship to some. And like I said, if Coach Levy does get that head coaching opportunity, he's definitely going to take it if they're paying him well. And because of that, you got to be prepared. And I think this puts someone right there in the chamber to keep the keep the party going so hop in the comments let me know how you feel about coach the trail coming to join the staff i mean he did go 44 and 44 which is 500 at at uh, north texas but i don't think that that's a bad thing i think that you know it's pretty solid for you know north texas we know about them but having two nine win seasons is pretty huge there so Hop in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. If you are new to the channel and you've made it this far, go ahead that like, subscribe, and the bell notification and join the family. We'd love to have you around. And um, outside of that, YouTube says you need to watch one of the videos that have just popped up on the screen. And um, we'll chop it up here in the next couple of days. Peace.